The next entrepreneur who wants to be a millionaire is Mark Walsh from Leeds. Mark thinks his product appeals to anyone with a competitive nature, and he's hoping his tenacious spirit will draw in a dragon. I don't give up. I like a challenge, and uh, hopefully I can hold my head up high and show that what we have done is bring an age-old tradition into the modern age. But will Mark's contemporary creation lead to a win in the den? Hello, Dragons. Uh, thank you for having me today. Uh, my name is Mark Walsh. Uh, I'm here to ask for a £80,000 investment in return to a 10% equity stake in our on-demand cloud-based quiz service called Quizbit. Quizbit is a quiz trivia game played through people's mobile phones and devices in a real-time competitive environment. The game is predominantly being marketed through the pub and club sector, which is a sector that we know and we're quite trusted in. I have over five years' experience in developing uh, products for the licensed trade industry, uh, and one of my products generated over £1.7 million in turnover from its conception. To date, the game's been housed in over 60 venues, uh, and we're also in talks with over 3,000 pubs with another pub chain in, uh, in the industry. Um, but it doesn't stop there. It appears that everybody likes a good quiz. Our tech is actually being used for learning and development and training within a corporate sector and also in an exhibition environment. Mark, and also you, so, lovely, but you probably need to make sure you've said everything in your pitch because we've got plenty of time to ask you questions. Cool. Wrap it up and then we can... We can... I would really like a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> what I would That's also I like to do uh, <laughs> is, um, if you would permit me, um, I would like to have a game which I invite you all to play. OK. A not-so-quick-fire pitch from Leeds-based Mark Walsh. Got my adrenaline's up already. It can get very competitive, I do warn you. He's hoping to entertain the Dragons into investing £80,000 for 10% equity of his online quiz business. Please enter your name and then click accept and continue. But will any of the Dragons think his game is worth competing for? OK, so... Um, so your first question, Dragons, is in what year was the first episode of Dragon's Den aired on BBC Two? Oh, that's not, you that's have four not options. Fair for Just some click on the option, press the option, make sure you go through to the next screen. Um, five of you answered. Peter was the fastest there. Congratulations, Peter. I'm sure he was. Well, because uh, he was in it. So yes, <laughs> uh, 2005 was your correct answer. Oh, uh, next question. Including the new additions, how many dragons have there been over the 12 years of Dragon's Den? Oh. The fastest person to get it obviously gets more points and gets their name in lights on here. And Jenny uh, got that correct, the fastest. Of 17 is the correct answer. So question number three, how many chairs has Deborah sat in over the years? Oh, God, only Deborah knows that. How many chairs has Deborah sat in? Now, if Deborah doesn't get this right, yeah. um, which she did, Deborah was the fastest, the correct answer was two. <laughs> um, question number four, this is uh, an image question. All I want to know is whose lips are these? <laughs> That's oh. easy. Um, That's easy. Tuka, fastest answer. Well done. <laughs> of course, that was Peter. Um, not wearing the lipstick today. Uh, end the, 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 the game. Uh, and Jenny, you won with 620 oh, points. No, we haven't well finished done. yet. We don't, we, don't, we don't finish until I've won. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay. The game is not <laughs> over. Uh, no. Until... Oh, no, no, no. Sometimes you have to accept <laughs> defeat, Deborah. But um, the prize for winning, uh, Jenny, is that um, um, you can now invest. Oh, thank <laughs> you so much, Mark. <laughs> Jenny Campbell might have headed straight to the top of the leaderboard, but poised to quiz Mark on his previous business success is leisure industry expert Deborah Meaden. So, Mark, um, you talked about you'd created a game that had turned over £1.7 yeah. million pounds worth of revenue. Yeah. So was that in your business or were you working for somebody else? No, time? that was my business. I developed that product in... I actually wrote it on the back of a beer map, believe it or not, in 2007. OK, so was that an interactive pub game or no, was that it just... Was, it, it, it was, a, it was a pub game that was played in, in venues using papers and pens and stuff. So what evidence have you got that people actually like to play on tablets in pubs because my knowledge is that actually they use pubs as a social interactive yeah. place rather than a... Very much so. Um, it's actually been said that we've created quite a sociable game using a very unsociable product because the questions are read out in a competitive environment so it creates the, the conversation. 
Well, yeah, but in a normal triv quiz, for instance, in a pub, you've got teams of people who are chatting, laughing. It's as much about the yeah, social element, so, yeah. and this doesn't do any of that. It's fascinating to watch them actually play because a lot of them put the tablet down in the middle of the, of the table and then what they will do is they'll, they'll answer and, and someone will get in first. Yeah, and, but there's no interaction at all. I mean, we did not talk to each other. In fact, I could see myself going like this, <laughs> hiding because I'm very competitive. You know, so it kind of goes a little bit against the point of a pub. It does. It makes quite... It creates quite a game show atmosphere. The atmosphere that it creates is... is not convinced. Is... Mark. Mark. Um... Having a tablet or a phone, if this was my phone, I'd probably end up falling out with my team because whilst your menu would be there, there would be these constant messages through. That would now disturb the game. You can put your phone in flight mode and other things. And, and no, I know, but, but I do, do, appreciate do you understand my point? Yeah, well, it's fascinating to watch because you can get phone calls during the game. Yeah, but how annoying would that be? My, my mum's rang me halfway through a game before um, and I've put the phone down. You know, you're not handling my objection very well here. The entrepreneur is scoring low, as Peter Jones identifies that the game's USP could also be its downfall. Now, Tej Lalvani wants to question the quiz buff on the potential customer base for his product. We all know that the gaming industry is massive and it's growing really fast. But the problem here is that this is not really the gaming industry, you're, you're focusing on targeting venues uh, to get a revenue stream. So what is the size of that market? In the pub and club market, there's over 20,000 venues that do pubs, uh, quizzes, uh, on a regular basis. So basically, you've got 20,000 customers at most? Correct. Venues purchase the, their own account. Once they have their accounts activated, they pay a monthly subscription. And how much is your monthly subscription? £20 a week. That is very small. I mean, you're targeting 20,000 of those, even if you get 20% market share, 5,000 pubs. It's extremely limited revenue. Tej Lalvani remains unconvinced there's a market for this quiz. And Jenny Campbell wants to find out if Mark has the commercial savvy to match his big ideas. You're quite a talker. I do waffle. I do apologise. You talked at a million miles an hour during your pitch, but I'm asking myself whether you're a businessman as well. Um, and, and, and there is a track record here, Mark, and you've said it in your pitch that your business that you had previously did 1.7 million turnover. That's the sort of language you'd hear in the pub. Yeah. But then you didn't go to the next bit about how much money did you make and how much did you realise from that. And you'll know the phrase, turnover is vanity, mm -hmm. profit, profit is sanity, sanity yeah. and cash is king. So I heard all the sales pitches in, in that. That aside, the pub sector, I know it well from my previous business, and it does need to adapt or die, but I don't believe this is the thing to do it. So for all those reasons, um, I'm out. One dragon down, as Jenny Campbell is first to take herself out of the competition. And former leisure boss Deborah Meaden is still skeptical that the cloud-based quiz will be a winner with landlords. Everybody thinks technology makes stuff better, but some things are actually best left where they are. Pubs use whatever it is that they think is not just going to attract people to the venue, but is also going to encourage them to socialise, chat and drink. As a venue owner, I would be worried that this didn't enhance the current offering. So I won't be investing. I'm out. Mark, um, I think there are lots of issues with this, potentially, when you roll this out, not least of all the fact that you're using a mobile device and the distractions that come into those mobile devices just with our everyday life. Um, so I don't see it as a big opportunity. And for that reason, I'm out. Mark. Hiya. I think the game's fun and I enjoy playing it. But I just think the market size is very, very limited. Um, you're a great guy, I like you. 
Thank you very much. But I'm out. Tej Lalvani fails to see the potential in the product, making it four dragons out. Only the den's wild card remains. Is Tuka Suleiman prepared to throw the entrepreneur a lifeline and take a chance on the quiz? You're talking as if you're the only game in town. <laughs> you know, I'm assuming there's lots of games in pubs. So if all the pubs pay the thousand pounds a year for every game they had, it'd be quite expensive, wouldn't it? Yeah. And quite rightfully so, they may well say, well, we'll trial it, and after a few months, they'll say to you, well, it's not great, clients are bored of it, we're looking for something different. So if you put it all together, yeah. make it into a game. It's a yes. <laughs> that gives me a result that I'm not going to invest today and I'm out. Thank you. So it's no points for the entrepreneur. His web-based quiz failed to score highly enough to win investment. Have a good day. But there was at least one dragon who enjoyed Mark's visit to the den. Hey, the best thing about that was that I won. <laughs> <laughs> I was really pleased at the first. Uh, I thought everyone was enjoying it. But then it quickly um, dawned on me that, uh, that the guys didn't really believe in the tech or the game. I do hope to see all the dragons again but I hope to be sitting next to one of them. <laughs>